وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبَرَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا كريما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah In our previous class we have practiced how to make dual nouns and in marfu and mansub and majroor forms and we also practiced the general forms and uh, inshallah today we're going to do more conversations and trying to understand uh, how these nouns are used in the sentences and uh, get more practice of these and also we'll be introducing ourselves to a new concept called tamiz so inshallah as we go along we do both so in today's class inshallah with in respect to duals we'll be doing about dual nouns and we'll be using demonstrative pronouns in duals and also we'll be using pronouns so we know nouns that uh, can be made dual by adding alif and noon to a noun to any noun when you add alif and noon so it's a sign of uh, musanna musanna so alif is a sign of musanna in the marfu form so and uh, we got ya and noon with kasra aini ani and aini aini is a sign of marf mansub and aini is also a form sign for majroor and demonstrative pronouns, we know that for the singular nouns, we use Hada, Ismu Ishara Lil Qareeb. We'll be doing only Ismu Ishara Lil Qareeb. Inshallah, in our next session, we'll do Lil Ba'id. So, for duals, for Muthanna, we got Hadani. So, it is Hadani is for Mudakkar, dual. Okay, and for Mudakkar, plural, we know for Aqil, it is Haulai and Jama Ghayra Aqil. We know it is Hadihi. For Jamma Ghayra Aqil and for also feminine Muthanna Ismu Ishara Lil Qareeb Hadihi and how do we write these two feminine? It is Ha Thani. This Ta is sign for Ta Thani. See again here, which gives us the indication that uh, this is referring to two feminine objects or feminine females. So Ha Thani Hadihi Ha Thani. And Jam'u is Ha'ula'i for both Mu'annas and Mudakka. So we'll be using these nouns today, inshallah. And we know about pronouns of Hua, Huma, Hum. So we'll be using the third person pronouns. Hua, the two of them are Huma. And she is here and two of them are Huma. So these are the pronouns and nouns we'll be using, inshallah. Let's begin with our sentences. So you see here. Akhun fil baiti. So what do we have? Akhun is a singular noun. Akhun is a brother. Fil baiti. In house. Jar maju shiba jumla khabar. So we have akhwani. Two brothers. Fil baiti. So you see. It is sign of marfu is alif. And fil baiti is jar maju shiba jumla. So we have bintani ma'a mudar risatin. So bintani is. Two daughters. Bint is daughter. Bintan is two daughters. Ma'a mudar risatin. Ma'a is zarf shibu jumla khabar and mudar risatin is mudaf ilayhi. So what do we say about bintani ma'a mudar risataini? Two daughters or with two teachers. So ma'a is again zarf and mudar risataini is two teachers. Majroor form and sign of majroor is الياو لأنه مثنى كتاب في الحقيبة A book in the bag الكتابان Two books in the bag كتابان في الحقيبتين حقيبتي is back حقيبتين is two bags هذا قلم هذا We see demonstrative pronoun We for a singular We use a appropriate مبتدى هذا قلم This is a pen so these are two pencils. Hadani 
qalamani hadhani qalaman these are two pens so hadhi bintun this is a girl is a feminine is my ishara so how do you write is hadhani so we know hadhi is marfu mubtada which is a mabni form and here hadhani is musanna and the sign of marfu is alif لأنه مثنى and بنتاني again one word you know one خبر is one word it's مرفو so here it is one word but it represents two girls so بنتاني the sign of مرفو is ألف هاتاني بنتاني these are two girls هذا الولد so now we got double here هذا اسم الشارع followed by ال هذا الولد this boy عند is zarf shibu jumla khabar and what comes after zarf is mudaf ilayhi so what do we got mudaf ilayhi here is abi is abi is uh, from asma al khamsa the sign of majru is al ya and wa huwa mudaf and ka is mudaf ilayhi and this boy is with your tag abi ka is your father and you have said to this hada nil waladani hada nil waladani so everything in dual forms so hada will become hada ni waladu will become waladani and in the zarf and abika two boys are with your father hada al babu again bail here ism al ishara followed by al is hada al babu mughlaqun mughlaqun one word khabar this door is closed hadan al babani so these two doors these two doors mughlaqani see everything has to match so mubtada badal and khabar has to match in all respects status number type and gender hadan al babani mughlaqani so everything ends with kasra here but we now we know that which one is marfu and how it will be tense mansub and majrur form huwa talibun huwa is tamirun munfasilun mubtada marfu form talibun is khabar huma is again dhamirun munfasilun marfu talibani is khabar these are they both are students hiya mudarrisatun she is a teacher huma mudarrisatani they both are teachers hadha al waladu faqirun this boy hadha al waladu this boy what about this boy is faqirun is poor huwa and he yatimun aidan and he is orphan aidan means as well he is orphan as well so if you want to make dual sentence here hadha nil waladani these two boys are faqirun will become faqirani or poor huma they both are yatimani aidan they both are orphans as well so hadhihi al bint talibatun hiya mushtahidatun jiddan so if you see here feminine everything has to be matched and written appropriately to make a perfect sense so let's analyze hadhi ism al ishara lil muannas al qareeb bint so badal talibatun is khabar hiya mujtahidatun she is hard working again hiya is mubtada and mujtahidatun and jiddan is very she is very hard working hatani bintani these two girls talibatani students the two students huma mujtahidatani jiddan so what do we see here jiddan jiddan is a mansub form which means very so we going to do understand little bit about mansub forms so we know every noun can be either in state of marfu mansub or majrur so we have learned about marfu we done about majrur so we done few of mansub forms so the most common reason why a noun can be mansub is maf'ulun bihi that means when it becomes an object of a verb for example if you say raaitu i saw i saw what 
is a Khalidan. I saw Khalid. So it's a Khalidan is Mansub, we know that is an object. So it is he is not a doer, but he is a receiver. For example, Qara'atu, I read. I read what? al Quran. See, al Quran. So it's with Fatha. So that is Mafaul and Bihi, it's Mansub form. And we've done this example before. Daraba Hamidun Bilalan. So Hamid hid Bilal. So Bilalan is the object. We are receiving the action. So that is that is a Mansub. The second form what we learned is uh, it's called Mafoon in Mutlaq. We've learned we just uh, know about this now. It's like Shukran. Most commonly what we use when you say thank you, Shukran. And we have learned that Ahlan wa Sahlan wa Marhaban. Khairan, the Jazakallahu, Khairan. These are Mafulun Mutlaq. So we'll learn about these later, inshallah. But these are Mansub. And there's a reason why they are Mansub. And we've also learned that most of the Zarf, they come as Mansub, Qabla Ba'ada. You see, they're all ending with Fatha. So, there's the reason for that. So, Ainda. So, because they, most of the time they come as an object. So, that's why it is Mansub. So, today, inshallah, we're going to learn a new Mansub called Tam'iz. So, what is Tam'iz? Tam'iz is a Mansub noun. It is which clarifies when there is a doubt. And it most it is, of the time it comes after come most of the time it comes after come so what is come come means how many so if you are telling how many so we need to know how many of what so you need more clarity there's some ambiguity some confusion so then and it is an interrogative particle so so we are asking question but it itself is not a complete question so we need to have bring some more information for how many and that what we bring is it's a singular indefinite mansub noun what is it it's a after come there always comes a singular indefinite mansub noun which is called tamaiz let's do some example so if we say come akhan laka so if we see here what we say come akhan this akhan is giving clarity how many how many of what so say how many brothers, how many brothers. So this Akhan is always singular, indefinite. And we know when there's a indefinite noun that is ending with two fathas is always written on Alif. So that's why Akhun will become Akhan. So if you see, come Akhan. Laka, how many brothers do you have? Yeah, Muhammad. So we have used here Laka is Jar Majrur, Harf Jar, Li, and Ka is Damir Muttasil. But we say La, Lahu Laka, Ya yeah, Muhammad. So now Muhammad is replying Li, I have Akhun Wahidun. Say Akhun Wahidun, one brother. So what is Wahidun here? It is Na'at for Akhun. So both are indefinite nouns. So matching in all the aspects that so becomes Na'at. So some more example. Wa kam ukhtan. Kam ukhtan. So what is ukhtan? Ukhtan is tam'iz. It is a singular noun. Mansub and indefinite. So wa kam ukhtan laka. So li ukhtani. I have two sisters. Ukht is sister. Ukhtani is two sisters. Li, Ukhtani. We say, Kam ajalatan. Ajalatan means wheels. Kam ajalatan liddarrajati ya hamidun. How many wheels does the bicycle have? Ya hamid. Laha. Say, Laha means it has ajalatani. Two wheels, Ajalatani. So Ajalatan is that means it comes after come. So how many? So when come Aidan Pis Sanati Ya Bakiru. So how many Eid in a year Ya Bakir? So it's implying Fis Sanati. See Fis Sanati is 
حرف جر اسم مجرو it is شبه جملة خبر مقدم so in a year what in a year so we need to عيداني see عيداني is مرفوع how do we know is مرفوع now no the sign of مرفوع علامة رفع is الألف okay عيداني هما they are again مبتدا عيد الفطر عيد is خبر one word وهو مضاف and الفطر is مضاف إليه so هما عيد الفطر وعيد الأضحى المدرس رسول يا إبراهيم أبوك تاجر كبير. so we know now أبوك without vowel sign we can read and understand what exactly is there on the words أبوك so because it's ka because it's addressing إبراهيم تاجر. so we know خبر one word is always indefinite مرفوع تاجر and كبير is not so it follows exactly the same pattern so تاجر كبير. كم سيارة عنده how many cars are in the hu? If you see here, we're not saying lahu, we're saying in the hu. In the is with him. So, if there is any objects, we will use in the. If it is relations like kam akhun, we didn't say, we don't say kam akhun in the ka. It's kam akhun laka. We use harpchar li. If it is an object, we use in the. So, how many? Brothers, how many cars you does he have? Ibrahim is replying, Aindahu, he has Sayyaratani Kabiratani. So, what is the Sayyaratani Kabiratani? So, we see two nouns matching exactly the same. So, it becomes not and man also. You say he has two big cars, wa Sayyaratani Sayyaratani, and two small cars. كم نافذة سي كم نافذة so why it's نافذة نافذة is تمعيز في غرفتك يا إسماعيل so how many windows in your room يا إسماعيل so it's a فيها why it is فيها it is غرفة referring to غرفة فيها نافذة تاني two windows so لمن هذان الدفتران؟ so we did before لمن هذه السيارة؟ لمن هذه الدفتر؟ so here we using two. so لمن هذان؟ to whom does it belong؟ these two books. هما they both لي belong to me. so this is our practice for dual nouns and introduction to تمعيز. inshallah we'll do more of this practice in our next lesson. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته